喂，咁多位大家好啦，我系 Sir， 今日咧我哋就利用一条逻辑题咧，去揾一揾人类嘅繁殖 （human reproduction） 啦。咁今次呢道题目咧，佢就有两句嘅陈述俾我哋。第一句陈述就话啦，并唔系所有嘅交配都会导致到受精同埋怀孕。第二句就话啦，受精系几时发生噶？就系、是、当个精子。喺個輸卵管嘅時候進入卵子咧，呢、這個過程咧就係、是、受精啦。咁題目咧就問我哋啦，有關於呢兩句嘅陳述嘅描述係正確喎。咁呢個題目啦，考嘅概念就係、是、喂，究竟受精啊、懷孕啊，有啲咩嘅條件嘅咧？第二啦，就考翻我哋啦。受精作用系喺输卵管发生啊，你又记唔记得咧？而最紧要嘅就系过往啦，都有呢啲咁样嘅血管逻辑题啊、树叶逻辑题啊。咁除咗考概念啦，亦都考我哋一啲诠释技能嘅技巧，就系、是、去得出因果关系啦。就系、是、对于一啲生物学知识嘅陈述咧，作出一个批判嘅分析、哦。咁其实呢款题型唔系新噶吓。過往咧會考題型啊、DSE 啊都有嘅，血管邏輯學啊、樹葉邏輯學啊，佢就俾咗兩句説話你，跟住啦，前句後句係咪真係有因果關係呢？咁而家先睇下兩句句子係咪正確先啦。第一句啦，係正確嘅，因為啦，的確唔係所有嘅交配都會導致到受精同埋懷孕嘅，例如啦，一啲生殖系統嘅健康問題啦，例如啊精子異常啦，啊遊唔到去揾隻卵子喎，咁咪做唔到受精咯。又或者啦，一啲荷爾蒙嘅唔平衡啦，可能個子宮內膜唔夠厚嘅，做唔到卵嘅植入，做唔到 implantation， 其實都係冇懷孕噶嘛。又或者啦，呢對夫婦有做避孕嘅措施咧，有戴到安全套啊，戴到子宮帽啊、condom 啊、diaphragm 之如此類，其實都係能夠避免到受精同埋懷孕嘅。咁所以第一句係正確嘅。第二句咧就有關於受精作用，都係正確嘅。咁啊，當精液啦注射入去陰道之後啦，咁精子就會游水，遊過咗子宮頸 c e r f a c e 啦，跟住啦就繼續遊到去子宮，並且啦向住輸卵管嘅上部進發。輸卵管嘅上部即係呢個牛角位嘅位置，咁呢個牛角位就係受精發生嘅地方啦。所以頭先我話啦，呢個題目都係考翻你知唔知受精喺邊度發生呢？咁下次可能可以考大家啲邏輯題，咪講下咯。啊，精子點樣喐㗎？原來咧，佢都係會受到個子宮壁嘅。蠕動啊，收縮啦，同埋輸卵管嘅蠕動收縮咧，去幫助佢進發，去揾到個卵子嘅。咁所以第二句都係正確嘅。咁兩句都係正確啦。咁啊望一望咯，題目就話啦，喂，一二都係正確，一二都係正確。咁啊 C D 咧就 say goodbye 啦，因為咧佢都係講緊是但一句咧就係錯嘅。今次呢，佢就話啦，第二句能唔能夠解釋第一句呢？咁我哋就發現啦，其實第一句嘅陳述呢，就只係強調去影響受精同埋懷孕作用嘅一啲因素啫。考下我哋呢個概念，哦，原來呢，唔一定一二三，咁原來呢，交配係唔係包生仔㗎喎、哦？而第二句呢，就只係描述咗受精嘅具體過程啫，就同第一句係冇關係嘅。咁所以啦，答案呢，就係、是、兩句都正確，但係第二句不。能夠解釋第一句啦，而頭先我所講啦，過往嘅血管邏輯學、樹葉邏輯學咪又係咁樣，俾咗兩句説話你，兩句説話可能都係啱噶，但係中間啊個連接詞就係 because 因為啊啊或者數所,所以啊，咁究竟嗰個邏輯係咪正確咧？咁呢個就考大家概念清唔清啦。Hello student, I'm Mr. Liang. So this question is about the logic flow. So the topic is about the human reproduction. So there are two statements. The first statement: not all copulation leads to fertilization and pregnancy. And the second statement: fertilization occurs when a sperm enter the ovum at the oviduct. So for this question, it's about the logic flow, and then it's asking that which of the following description about the two statements is correct. So this question is checking as the concept about the process of fertilization and condition required for pregnancy. Come on, we need to recognize the fertilization occurs in the oviduct. This time we are checking the cyanotic skills. Can you draw the 
relationship between two statements or two phenomena, and then we need to do the critical analysis of the biological statement, some biological phenomenon. I'm saying before that we have the blood vessel logic, we have the leaf size logic, so you can watch the video and do the revision. Um, we have different statements together, but in between we have different conjunction. Uh, maybe because, maybe so. Is there any logical relationship between these two statements? So let's take a look. Statement number one is correct because the factors like the reproductive health, just like sperm defect or the hormonal imbalance to make the thickness of the uterine lining is not thick enough for implantation or contraception, just like condom, diaphragm, pills, something like this. All of those factors can prevent fertilization or pregnancy. Therefore, statement one is correct. And statement two is also correct. After semen is ejaculated into the vagina, the sperm swim through the cervix and up to the uterus and head towards the upper part of the ovida, which is the site of the fertilization. So maybe next time it can ask you the sperm movement. The sperm movement can be helped by the paralytic contraction of the muscular wall of the uterus and the oviduct. That means both of the statements, they are correct. So let's take a look at the answer. Both of them are correct, and then we can say goodbye to C and D. However, can statement two really explain statement one? So we say that no, 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 because for statement one, it focuses on the broader factor that influence fertilization and pregnancy. And for statement two, it describes the specific biological process of the fertilization. So for the statement two, it cannot explain that why not all copulation will need to fertilization of pregnancy. Therefore, the answer is B.